In weather so perfect, it might have been specially ordered for this royal occasion. The home fleet steams out Linastan in tomorrow first. Great ships of the Queen's Navy sailing to greet their queen. The Royal Yacht Britannia is on her way back from the state visit to Denmark, and the Navy is ready to give Her Majesty and Prince Philip as spectacular a welcome home as any monarch has ever received. The Sea and Sea Home Fleet, Admiral Sir John Eccles and Lord Selkirk, First Lord of the Admiralty, are the first to greet the Royal Yacht 50 miles out from the bridge of the fast mine layer, Apollo. Sir John orders a 21-gun salute. Three aircraft carriers are in the fleet, Ark Royal, Albion and Ocean. At the other end of the scale, the submarines Artful, Trump, Subtle and Springer. Planes from the carriers and shore stations fly overhead as the cruisers and destroyers take their turn in speeding past Britannia at 21 knots, the ship's companies lining the decks to cheer their sovereign. After each ship has paid her respects, the home fleet forms up to escort Britannia to her anchorage in Cromarty Firth. This full-scale welcome is only the beginning of a three-day programme, for Her Majesty and the Duke are to stay at Invergordon as guests of the home fleet. Many of these sailors have just returned from months of tiring service in the heat and discomfort of the Middle East. For whatever rumour may say of the future, the Navy is still hard at work. But when ceremony is demanded, the senior service remains as faultless as ever. <laughs>